Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Hope you're all been enjoying the content. Hope you all enjoyed the video we put up a few weeks ago about part one of our silage process. So that's the silage is all in this clamp behind me here where all the tires are on top. Um, yeah, we showed you part one, which was basically the mowing and the foraging of the grass. Um, today's video is going to show you the process which involves basically filling up this this silo here, this clamp, it's called a silage clamp. Um, we bring in the grass, it's tipped up in here, and then we have to roll it, compact it, seal it all down. So um, yeah, today's video will explain about all that. Um, so yeah, hope you all enjoy it. Please don't forget if you are enjoying our channel, tap on a like, hit the, uh, hit the subscribe button, and also if you tap the little bell, you'll be notified of all our videos that go up every, Wednesday and Sunday, some massive plane just taken off in the background. Um, but yeah, if you are enjoying it, hope you enjoy today's video and we'll yeah, speak to you all again soon. So this is the silage clamp. This is where all of the grass is gonna be stored. Um, we put up the plastic on the side walls. That just helps seal, creates a seal then that all the silage is then against the plastic rather than a concrete wall. So this will start being filled up. We've still got a bit of uh, that's last year's second and third cart left, which is always nice to have. Um, and this is the first load that's just come in this morning. Nice stuff, tiny bit of stem there, but pleased with it, it's uh, still nice and green. And uh, this is actually from a surplus grazing field, so we shut it off and we cut it. Um, you see it's all been chopped up into small pieces. I'll then start pushing this back and compacting it in. Um, so. Yeah, and then hopefully this will be fairly full by the end of the day. So, second trailer of the day coming in. Ollie from Home Farm Contractors. See how good his reversing is. Will he get it in one? Yeah, like a pro. It's easy to come back, always to the back. Kick his uh, back up. Move out the way. You can watch it tip up. So we'll get this load tipped up, then I'll start pushing it all up. You want to make sure that at the moment you can see it's all fluffy there's lots of air in it it's really important that we get it pushed up and keep it nice and compact and that'll then make sure it's always a good sign that i mean it's nice and sticky it's not the trailer. Um, make sure it's nice and compact we end up get, making silage like this you see it's hard to get out but this stuff is from last year but it's ensiled really well and that's really nice stuff and it's kept the quality is really good. This was put in the clamp this time last year so it's kept really well. So yeah, we'll start getting pushed up.
So we are all done for the day. You can see behind me, clamp has filled up nicely. Um, good heat there, nothing there at the start of the day. Much better yields so far um, for second cut. Yeah, clamp is, we're about three quarters of the way there. Um, but if I was just zoom out a bit, we are, um, yeah, kind of three quarters full nearly already. So we should get another 100 vergies, 110, about 50 acres left to do tomorrow. Um, but yeah, pleased with it. And say quality is looking all looking pretty nice. Um, see it's all tiny bit stemmier stuff, but a lot of nice leafy, leafy content. Um, so that should make nice silage, fingers crossed. But yeah, we'll also, we'll put a third cut in here as well. Um, but we won't need to put all of it in. We'll probably bail the, or we'll mow it all at once, but then we'll fill up the rest of it and then we can bail the rest of it to have a few extra bales. But yeah, really pleased. And it just means take the pressure off that if it did, did go dry and didn't, didn't, didn't rain too much, never know this time of year now like we had a couple of years ago then, we should still have plenty of forage um, because we know this here, that's first cut. We'll open that tomorrow morning and we'll start feeding that and that'll get us through well, until end of September time. Probably won't get it finished, then that'll be, this clamp gets filled up with forage maize. Then we move on to this clamp, which will be chocolate block full and we have a few bales and then this will then take us through till April 2025. So, so far on the forage front, things are going well. You can see Rube's enjoying running up and down the clamp. But yeah, please how it's going and we'll get it all finished off tomorrow. So clamp has filled up nicely, chocker block, last few trailers just coming in. Ollie's running a pad with his nice new marshal. Now we're getting out the back, lovely. Watch him tip up. Oh, it's much easier than a lot of the other trailers which you have to get out and tap the backs off. There she comes. About eight, nine tonne of grass in there. So I'll get that pushed up. Fernando started rolling, ready for us to put the busk on. So last load just come in, trying to squeeze it all in the clamp. Um, but it's getting pretty full. So I said we'll try and get it in because we need to keep access to those two two bins you see there. They've got um, ground wheat and rape meal in. So we need to try and keep that accessible. But yeah, slowly it's getting fuller and fuller. But hopefully we'll get them in, get it all tidied up at the bottom there. And then, um, yeah, start finish rolling and get it all uh, sheeted up. I say we've got another half an hour, sort it all out and then we'll start the sheeting process. Amazing how much it's dried. This has only been on the ground for about, not even 24 hours, about 16 hours, but we've had some northeasterly winds and it's um, grass has dried very quickly so very glad we didn't didn't tend it and didn't cut it any earlier so yeah nice stuff there and very pleased with the amount we've got shock a block we'll be able to bail for a cart we won't need to put it in a clamp so we usually use a bark rake but I'm just using the telehandler for the last bit just so I can actually bucket it right up onto the top of the clamp so we'll finish this off and then we'll get it sheeted up. So, just finishing the rolling of the clamp. All full. Fernando. Number one. And the six on today. It's all we like to see. All the grass sticking to the tires, that means it's nice and stickery and sugary. That's a good sight. And we're in the other one. And then we're gonna now 
lay all the plastic on. So first we've got a cling film sheet, um, which we lay down. That's good boys. So what we're doing here, just laying down a plastic sheeting. So this is from so yeah, Polydress O2 Barriers. Very good. It's basically very clever. It saves having to put, so usually we used to put a cling film on and that just helps seals, keeps all this nice and tight. Whereas this plastic here has got a plastic, um, a clear plastic stuck to this black bit. And what we do is when this gets pulled down and sealed down, the black silver clear plastic then comes off and um, sticks to the, to the grass silage and that'll then create a, a barrier, which means then it's sealed and it stops any oxygen getting in, which then means that it ferments well. Um, so this plastic will all get pulled tight and then we'll start pulling over all these black plastic and then we put tires on, like you can see a clamp of first got there. And that'll then seal it to make sure no oxygen can get in. So as you can see behind me, now it's all done. So we've showed you that green sheet one underneath and there's a couple of layers of the black plastic um, before we put the tyres on just to seal it and make sure no oxygen can get in. So yeah, that's a clamp full, chocker block, um, really good heat, really pleased with second cut. Um, so yeah, all the third cuts will be going into bales because um, we can't put any more in that clamp behind me there because that needs to, um, we'll eat, the, eat through that now and then we'll put maize in there. So the maize side will go in that clamp. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you are enjoying them, please don't forget, tap the like button Click on the uh, subscribe and if you tap the little bell, you'll be notified of all our videos we put up every Wednesday and Sunday.